GMOs, are they unsafe? Are they useful? Why should I care? A massive debate that you've probably heard about over the past few years is regarding a controversial topic known as GMOs. GM what, you may be saying? GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, are plants or animals created through the gene splicing techniques of biotechnology, also referred to as genetic engineering, or GE. Basically, it refers to a food that has DNA inserted into it so that it takes on more positive qualities like a high resistance to pests, ability to grow in more unstable weather, or to even have a higher nutrient profile. A new report finds genetically modified foods, such as soy and corn, may be an environmental trigger for the growing health crisis. If you look at the nature of the two primary toxins found in most GMOs, you can predispose the physiology for those types of symptoms related to gluten sensitivity. The big debate? whether or not to label foods as GMOs, so consumers can then make their own decisions as to whether they want to consume genetically engineered foods. If the FDA has approved genetically modified foods as safe, why are consumers so concerned? Well, mostly health. What are the implications of these so-called frankenfoods as they're often referred to by the wellness community? Plant species are always evolving naturally and through conventional farming practices, but do we really know enough about GMOs to know that they are safe in the long term? And more importantly, if GMOs are in our food supply, should we as consumers be able to know about it? Do we have the right to know? They didn't used to take a gene out of a bacterium and put mm -hmm. it in corn so that the corn grows its own insecticide. Right. That's right. Now we Which, do that. by the way, is good because then we use I know, less it's insecticide. Awesome. It's also delicious. No, wait, wait. wait hold on. Saying. Oh, no, no. There's, yeah. a, there's okay, a good but, argument for it. But if I want to make a decision about whether or not to ingest that genetically modified organism, I don't want it to be kept secret from me. If yeah, you are, if the argument against right. it from yeah. the industry, exactly. if the argument against it from the industry is that yeah. I will hysterically, as a consumer, make a decision if I see that label not to buy that corn. Well, the solution to that is not then to, to, to make it a secret thing that I'm ingesting it, but rather to convince me that it's safe. Those who support GMOs, including scientists, remind us that there have been over 1,000 studies over the past 15 years, and there hasn't been a single study that shows that GMOs are unsafe. GMO supporters feel that many consumers are pro-labeling because they don't understand the science. To add to that, the Non-GMO Project says in more than 60 countries around the world, including Australia, Japan, and all of the countries in the European Union, there are significant restrictions or outright bans on the production and sale of GMOs. For example, India has just placed a 10-year moratorium on planting its first GM food crop. Mexico has banned the planting of GM maize. Peru has placed a 10-year moratorium on the import and cultivation of genetically modified seeds. And Bolivia has committed to giving up growing all GM crops by 2015. Do they know more than we do, or is the GMO lobby in the U.S. just that much more powerful? The multinational billion-dollar company, Monsanto, happens to be a leading producer of GMO seeds. RT reached out to the company. A spokesperson said that Monsanto is not aware of credible evidence that support allegations of their products being harmful. In the meantime, Monsanto has reportedly spent billions on lobbying to keep GMO foods from being labeled in the U.S. If you prefer to decide for yourself or figure out how you can reduce the amount of GMOs you consume, here's what you can do. Buy organic labeled food whenever possible. USDA National Organic Standards prohibit use of GMOs. Or if you buy from small farmers at a farmer's market or through a local CSA, find out if they use organic-like practices. Talk to your health coach about how you can get greater access to organic, local food and what types of food products you can cut back on in your diet in order to reduce your risk of eating GMOs. Now we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on GMO labeling? Please share your comments with us and for more in-depth, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Robin Euclid. While doctors are trained to diagnose and treat specific illnesses, they are not trained in how to change the behaviors that lead to them.